Dave Madden joins us from the Davy Tree Expert Company. Dave, as we head deeper into the fall months, what are you expecting as far as fall foliage is concerned? Well, I, I would I would say sporadic uh, in, in a nutshell. Uh, we've had some recent weather that's been very nice as far as uh, cool nights, warm, sunny days. We've had a nice run of those, and that normally would set us up for good color. Uh, but what really triggers fall around here is, is not warmth or cold or anything else, but actually the length of the day. And as our nights grow longer, and now we're beginning to notice that the days are getting shorter and the sun's going down sooner, that's the real trigger to trees to start shutting down. But then there's other factors that have impact on that. What factors set you up for some nice leaf color before those uh, leaves drop or kind of a dull color? These cool nights, warm, sunny days are great. If we were to have a real cold, hard frost or freeze even too early, well, that wipes them out. They probably drop off. We don't have much color. But these nice, uh, cool nights, long days, or, or shorter days and warm, sunny days is, is a nice, the sugars have time to pool in those leaves. And then we start to see those, those pigments, the, the ones that cause the, the reds and the pinks and the fuchsias, the, would be the anthocyanins. And then the, the carotenoids are the ones that cause the oranges and yellows, which we're beginning to see now, the earliest. Talk about leaf drop, because that happens every year, but sometimes it happens earlier some years than others. What are you expecting this year? Well, that's been a problem, and that's why they issue the caveat on, on the fall foliage and being it sporadic. Uh, because of the extended drought we've been in, a lot of trees have already lost most, if not all, of their leaves. A lot of our cedar elms are, are browned out and, and turned brown. They've dropped off their leaves. Uh, and that's just their response to their losing water faster than they can replace it. What we will have around here is you will see pockets where maybe they got a lucky rain in August or September. A few people did. They got to hang on to their leaves. Maybe they're down in a, in a creek bottom or something where there's more soil that's retaining more moisture. And those trees are where we're going to see the, the flashes of color and, and potentially some really good color on the people that do have it this year because of the weather we've had recently. How much earlier than normal are we seeing these trees losing their leaves? Oh, a couple of months, really. I mean, last time we talked, it was about the drought and 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 the fact that trees were dropping their leaves and and I've been they've been dropping leaves really since August uh, so they've had two months to lose and like I said a lot of the trees unfortunately have lost most of their leaves and will miss their color uh, but there will be pockets where those leaves are hanging on and, and you're beginning to see it now with the the yellows appearing on the elms and the pecans and and the reds are soon to follow right so it sounds like we'll be mowing those uh, leaves that have fallen to the ground early uh, for a long period then it's going to be drawn out yes yes and definitely, if you can avoid breaking them, grind them up to return them to the soil. That's just nature's natural recycling process, almost self-fertilization. So uh, leave them on the ground if you can. All right, Dave Madden from the Davy Tree Expert Company. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it.